Is it true that Chinese eat dog's meat? In this video, I'm gonna let you know how was it like to be in China experiencing this dog's meat festival, dog's meat restaurants, etc., especially being a vegan. My name is Mar and I am a vegan now. I became vegan in China. I previously recorded a video of how it was like becoming a vegan in China and why is that I became a vegan. I'm gonna pin that video down in the comments so for you to go and watch it if you wish. But anyways, this video is gonna be related to anything dog's meat coming from my own experience and I will be very glad if you guys will also like to share your own experiences because I know each one of us has different perspectives as well as experiences regarding being in China, different times, uh, different situations, students, business, etc. So first of all, I was living in China for over 10 years and during those years there was a time when I was specifically in Shenzhen already like being part of a group of activists that um, were somehow very involved in Yulin's festival. I believe Yulin's festival is dog's meat festival. It's about like either May or June. Anyhow, they started posting around like even prior, prior to that time, maybe one month or three weeks or two months in advance like dogs were missing, like my dog is missing and people were so very like what is happening surprised how come like few of our friends foreign friends and Chinese friends dogs were missing like that's quite strange and what ended up happening is like they have like people uh, some people some really horrendous people work as they have trucks and they have somehow they come together with others and they just are wandering around cities like to steal dogs so they will be uh, watching whose dog it's like not being taken care of like let's say the owner is just far away is just looking at cell phone or the dog rambling around by itself so they will snatch it and just steal it we found out that some of these dogs were taken in these trucks directly to be sold in this fe during this festival time. So these people start preparing for this festival like in advance. And of course, these ones like the dog meat traders or trucks are not the ones preparing the dog meat itself at the like venue in the festival, like the restaurants or the whoever that is cooking the whole thing usually these trucks or these like thieves are there preparing to have some kind of like uh, uh, monetary advantage over the festival and since it's just very easy to steal dogs and they like take out stray dogs usually in, in china there are no stray dogs please let me know more about this issue i have another story by the way just a second anyhow they will be stealing these dogs uh, putting them on trucks like all together like in a very very inhumane way humane and animal is different but still it's just not it is not the way anyways and many of my activist friends, vegan friends, non-vegan friends, just activists overall, foreign and Chinese in these groups were like just passing around the voice or the news about, oh my God, uh, we are looking for the dog. We, we are kind of um, finding trucks. And suddenly these people will be like somehow in the middle of the roads of, they, they really kind, they are very aware of, where are these trucks going and where are they coming from? So they will be intervening, like, is that a word? In Spanish it is. And by the way, I'm very amused that YouTube is real, is soon coming out with this translation, um, new feature. Nonetheless, I'm gonna still be creating English content. Just bear with me. Anyways, my friends, activist friends, like we are a bunch of activists. We were a bunch of activists, I'm still am, but not in China maybe in some way I am with the channel. However, there will be a bunch of people that will be very courageous to go and stop the track, the trucks from like passing by and going and selling the dogs in the market. 
And the thing is, like, I believe they somehow offer a price. They make an offer for the truck driver as like, or the trader, the the thief itself, the the seller. And maybe if they meet the price, uh, he's fine with it because nonetheless, those dogs were going to be sold somehow in the market. So somehow it was going to be business. So if business come about before or after, and if he's good with the, taking that money, then all is fine. I believe that's the way they do because I am still a part of like um, Chinese account where they usually is like a Buddhist Chinese account where usually they also will make stopovers of these trucks and will purchase the whole truck full of dogs like super packed super like one over another and they will purchase the whole truck it costs like maybe five five thousand seven thousand twenty thousand I'm not sure and they call it ito lianto like one head two head so it's like like the cows, like the dogs will be. It's not like one dog; it's just one head. Anyways, so usually they post these things in WeChat, and I will be um, frequently like looking at how they are asking for donations in order to release the dogs from the truck and take them to the sanctuary or like the refugee. How to call it? It's just a place that is very. Uh, somehow, it's a safe place for dogs. Made. Uh, they, these people are the owners and they try to save as many dogs as they can. They treat them there, they give them medicines, they give them like food, etc. So this means this is not happening just during Julian's festival, but precisely during Julian's festival is more severe in regards to like, you have to be very careful with your dog because these kind of problems or issues like your dog just being lost or like disappearing was happening nearby Shenzhen and near like areas just in the Guangdong province. However, this other story that I'm telling regarding the vegan Buddhist um, altruist activist is happening all year round. So they are having trucks uh, delivered to dog meat restaurants all year long. Nonetheless, during Yulin's festival, because it was a very popular one, uh, there must be the uh, the amount of dogs arriving and the amount of people wanting to do that kind of trade or business fast and quick, just selling over dogs, being stalled, being taken out from homes, being stray dogs, whatever, it's higher. Anyways, so there was one time when um, a few there was one girl I remember she was posting the whole time guys if you were when that happened also and you are aware of this please let me know in the comment section however this girl I remember she was very she was being criticized because the problem with this activist was like once they released the dogs they didn't have a plan A or B or like what is next so there was a release that was a few few years ago i'm not sure about now i'm not very like in touch with that i would like to be i'd like to go back to china anyways there were 400 dogs in that truck and they were suddenly released most of them were sick most of them had like skin problems they have like all kind of issues seriously i was disgusted at how there did these people wanna eat like, how do, will they dare to eat this kind of meat? I am against eating meat anyhow, but I'm not going to push my beliefs over the channel or anyone. Nonetheless, this was just sickening to the eye because they were just passing around the pictures, like sending them through the WeChat uh, mo moments and groups. And we could see how sick these, were, these dogs were and how on earth would someone consider eating them like it was just annoying annoying to the point of like this dog is suffering it's in agony plus this dog is super dirty and super sick plus you are wanting and willing to eat it or purchase dog meat uh, just because it's prepared and tasty or how chill i cannot with that like seriously cannot anyways they were so sick 
and there were so many dogs and suddenly of course there were a few adopter like families there were a few foreigner and chinese that wanted and willing to adopt dogs but nonetheless there were so many sick dogs that the bills to pay the vet were very high and of course we i myself included and so many others donated for the cause but it wasn't enough it was like never enough and the dogs were sick and there was not enough space where to put them and there were not enough like adopters or people that wanted to adopt them because we lived in apartments or we were traveling anyways so it got uh, it was like a big drama there in the activist community like why would you be releasing them and then not having a plan of where to place them and just make them suffer even more some are just once again in the streets and they're gonna get caught again and some are like not having a home to go after or the bed bill is just too high we cannot bear with it what is that we're gonna do or maybe just like put them down so it was a whole issue i'm not sure if activists are doing it any better now please let me know just update me on the issue however this was what i live back then and then th there was this girl just updating us all uh, there was this like of course there are more there are a few people more courageous than others that will uh, confront directly the chinese sailors like rah you know i didn't dare to even go there i haven't had the chance not because i don't want to see it or anyhow but as i was saying it's just almost I cannot say maybe it's the same because I have a dog, so I'm not sure to which extent. Anyways, I still feel kind of awful if I go to a seafood market or whatever market that it's in China, just livestock or even the craft being served alive at the table. For me, it's just a sickening a a show to watch just for the sake of having a bite of food. Anyhow. This was my experience regarding Yulin's festival. Anytime the festival was like anytime soon, although the media or the Western media said like, oh, it's forbidden, it's not happening anymore. It is still happening or it was still happening during my uh, days in China. And people would just be doing it, like no matter um, foreign global media say the opposite. Another issue that happened with me was like I attended an expo like a business expo in Yanjiang in the province of Guangdong Yanjiang city which is very nearby one beach which is called Cha Po which I love by the way and I think I believe I posted videos about that beach however I was hanging out with a few Chinese friends there that I met and after Yanjiang they took me in their car to Cha Po and in the way on the way we stopped by to have a meal and we stopped in a restaurant i was very unaware of where were we or like what was happening and suddenly when we sat inside and he ordered from like the menu uh, he was very uh, aware and conscious that i was a vegan or i didn't eat meat i was like transu sushi like sushi means like you are a vegetarian vegan Transu means vegan and sushi is just like vegetarian. So, yeah, so you have to adopt that word uh, chuan, which means complete or fully vegan compared to vegetarian. So he ordered for me some vegetables and he ordered for himself some other stuff. And suddenly I was just sitting there and staring at like whatever, lost, um, just wondering. And I stare at one side at the back of the restaurant, which was there was like a sign which I can read Chinese have my certificates over there and it says the word go and the other word row which basically means dog meat and I was like ah because I was never ha I'd never had this experience before like previously when I was in Shenzhen although I was not really going like that much to non-vegan restaurants I would prefer go to vegan restaurants for many reasons but I did go f from time to time with like family, friends, whatever. But I didn't have the experience of like having seen like the go row, like as a offering in the menu. 
And I was just like, what is this? And then I checked the menu and I started asking him and I started freaking out, like, there is dog meat in this restaurant. Uh, I, I just saw the sign and he's like, no. And then we checked the menu and I was like, yeah, there is dog meat. I'm not staying in this restaurant. There's no way I'm going to eat here. There's no way because I was not going, <laughs> I didn't want to support the restaurant in the first place to give gave them any money in exchange of any kind of food besides that like our food could be somehow having contact with the dog meat back there and i was like just so not willing to eat whatever vegetable that could be cooked just after dog meat or before that or having a little bit of oil without meat but it's not because i feel disgusting but because i was just uh upon my I, I just couldn't do that and I didn't want to support it. So I was like, we are not staying here, we are leaving. And he was like, but, but, and I'm saying, we are just leaving. And then he agreed on that. We left. Uh, I think they brought the food before we ate it. I was uh, concerned about the issue and I was talking to him like, no, um, there's dog meat when they were just bringing it. And I say, I'm not staying. And then we just stood up. He paid, I believe, and the food stayed there untouched. Maybe you're gonna say we like wasted. Yeah, but this was a big shock for me, okay? So once we were out, I discovered that this restaurant didn't have any sign of like dot meat from the outside. And then we went to another one in front and it says like, it said like they have uh, donkey meat from the outside. And I was like, I'm not, whatever. And we went in there. It's not like whatever, because by the way, in the university, Shenzhen University, they there was this one restaurant in the back side where there was a little um, known soon, Wei Miao soon, where they have a whole donkey there waiting, waiting for someone to order. It was just shocking for me also. There's another story maybe for another day. I, I just felt so sorry for him. The, anyways. Yeah, they sell like a live donkey and the whole donkey was there for someone to order it alive. So just like a horse at the back of someone's farm. So we went inside that other restaurant and we sat down and the menu came. And once again, there was dog meat in there. And I was like, why is there this again dog meat? What is happening with these restaurants? And I kind of find out, I kind of discovered that these restaurants didn't have like the sign up front like in the front of the the restaurant itself they all said like they sell do donkey meat but it was like a trick correct me if i'm wrong guys but this is what i remember so far and once you are inside there is like dog meat signs and dog meat preparations different kind of like um styles to cook it and I was just so shocked I didn't dare to go back to the kitchen to see any further whether there were dogs around whether they were like dog heads somewhere or like what was the cost of them I still have a picture I believe that was in 2019 and I was so fed up with it so I said we have to go like far away from this place once we were out I glanced it and all of the restaurants were just the same promoting donkey meat but they really had dog meat inside somehow maybe it's not legal maybe to have the offering of dog meat but instead they put donkey meat but the inside uh, once you are in then they will offer the dog meat and you will understand it maybe from the outside that donkey meat is dog meat but I was a foreigner I didn't understand that and Anyways, it's so it's so it's so weird because I, I'm sure they know it. So why would they do that? Anyways, however, um, they were maybe from one side of the street to the other, fifteen to twenty small restaurants just like that, and I, I, I knew that it was somehow a place that specialized in dog meat. I don't remember the precise place, but as I was saying, it's just very nearby Yangjiang and Chapo because we were in that area and in the province of Guangdong. And I was just like, this is too much for me. That was the only one time I experienced in these many years in China, at least the one time that I discovered, because it could have happened to me that I was sitting in a restaurant that they also served dog meat, but I didn't find, I didn't find out or it was hidden. 
However, this was very obvious once you got inside, the signs, the pictures, it was just disgusting. And he agreed and we left and somehow we had a meal somewhere else. But yeah, nearby this area, there were almost no foreigners. So there were quite remote places. Like usually some foreigners will not go there because they are non very many English speakers there as well as there's nothing much there's just like countryside it's beautiful but still uh, there are some places where foreigners will not usually arrive because there are not very many landmarks to see or sightseeing stuff anyhow that was uh, my second experience regarding dogs meat the first one was the Yuling one with the activist and the third one and most recent one was I met uh, someone back in Shenzhen. 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 And he was a guy from Latin America. So somehow we end up being friends. And I was confessing to him how horrible this experience was about like eating dog meat. And he said like, I have eaten previously it's very tasty and I'm like hey, what are you talking about and he said somehow he was sick back in the day like a few years ago he was having like coldness in the body like somehow he was very sick he was always sweating sweat cold cold sweat and one Chinese recommended him suggested to have a soup of dog meat like dog meat soup and he didn't hesitate it he just tried it and he said just with one soup i felt much better i regained my strength i didn't feel the the hot and cold shiverings after and if you guys are not aware of the dogs usually have a higher degree temperature than we do let's say i'm 36 degrees celsius i believe and dogs are maybe above one or two degrees so their bodies are warmer. Maybe you guys are very aware of this. However, they have this characteristic and somehow Chinese, I'm not very sure whether it's Chinese medicine per se, but at least the Chinese ideology. And of course it's not all of them, or maybe because it's not all of them that they wanna follow this belief, but the belief is that Chinese dog meat, no, sorry, not Chinese dog meat, dog meat overall, no matter if it's Chinese or not Chinese, Chinese believe that dog meat will make your body warmer and will take out any kind of illness regarding cold, being cold. Um, usually in the province of Guangdong, maybe that's why they have it there, I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether they have it elsewhere or where is that they have it and I'm not wanting to get into details, although you're welcome to please comment down below and let us all know. Uh, in the province of Canton, it's very humid, so this humidity somehow will make your body ill with time. Living in a very humid place makes the body sick. Chinese usually say like, oh, like you have the humidity inside and your body is very... Uh, and somehow they believe the dog meat will take out this humidity or they will um, cure some diseases regarding being humid or having um, cold warm or body so yeah this is the belief of or the benefit they see in regards to eating dog meat would you try dog meat have you tried dog meat what do you think about dog meat what are your thoughts regarding this food and just another um, thing to say here is like Chinese in general think like the Chinese from the Guangdong province, like Cantonese, they have a saying like, oh, Guangdong Ren, Shamadouchi. Like Cantonese people will eat whatever that it moves on earth or flies. I mean whatever it moves, whether it flies, swims, runs, or just how to the snake, what does the snake do? This in Mexico, Spanish is called arrastrar. Like it's not walking, it's not flying, it's not swimming, it's this. So they have this thing for like they see Canton Ren or like Cantonese people as just 
a little bit too exotic. They say like, oh, Cantonese people eat whatever, whatever that is, whatever moves, they will snatch it and eat it. And maybe it goes back, back in the day when there was a lot of famine happening in China and there was just like not much food to eat, so they will just grab it. Or why is it that Canton Ren have this um, characteristic? I'm not sure. Please also let me know in the comment section. Because if you talk to people from the northern part of China, they are quite aware that Canton Ren or like Cantonese people will be eating whatever. And somehow they have this uh, kind of like, some of them do not dare to eat whatever. So yeah, and another thing is like, Buddhist or vegan vegans in the Buddhism world believe uh, no by the way it was not just them however anyways Buddhists usually are vegan the very hardcore ones are vegan therefore there are many temples and offering Buddhist meals you have seen that in my channel if not go and watch those like videos but some Chinese have told me like I don't eat the dog because dog has a soul so dogs and cats have a soul so I'm gonna be abstaining from eating them because they have a soul and therefore we shouldn't be eating them so some of the Chinese not vegan Buddhists sorry vegan Buddhists are just avoiding eating any kind of meat and I believe maybe they also have this belief not sure but there was there were some other friends that shared with me this and therefore they were not eating the dog's meat because they have a soul and also they had a pet that was dog so they believe somehow there they have this spirituality belief that the dog has a soul what do you guys think those have souls and if it's so why is it just dogs that have souls or you also believe like some other animals or all of the animals have souls comment down below so yeah in the end Chinese do eat uh, dog's meat but there are not a lot of Chinese eating them I read a comment that they said like there was 100 million one, oh, sorry one, 100 million Chinese eating me dog's meat and the rest will avoid it am I saying that correct it sounds a little bit or maybe it's maybe I'm wrong I must be wrong anyways there was like the Chinese are over 1 billion and just 100 million or yeah I'm so lost anyways it's not all of them there are some that will avoid it at all costs there are some that will rescue them there are some that will donate to protect them at all costs and of course foreigners are also part of this movement and Hopefully you have enjoyed this video and if you're a Chinese, I would like to know your thoughts. If you are a foreigner living or having to do with China, also let me know what is that you think regarding this issue. Maybe also in your country you are having Chinese dog offerings just like in Indonesia and it was the case for Korea. We don't have that. Oh, by the way, I have a very bad comment here to say. I'm going to reserve it for another video. And for now, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget this to give this video a thumbs up as well as to subscribe if you wish and support me in the links down below as well as be free to contact me.